Hello, and welcome back to Nice Haven, Episode 5. I'm Lucas. In the last episode, we built a tram line connecting our industrial area all the way to our high school. It makes stops in between to service the pedestrians. It stops near Main Street so that they can access the stores nearby, and it stops every couple of blocks along our new residential area that we built last episode. In this episode, I'd like to start work on the city to the other side of the river. I'd like to start over here um, building a little bit of a key so that people can walk along the river here. Ooh, I think what would make the key a little bit nicer though is if we changed how we're handling our sewage. So this is our original sewage drain that we've been using since the beginning, but we can destroy this one now because we've unlocked the more eco-friendly sewage drain. Unfortunately it has a lower capacity though than the polluting sewage drain, so we'll have to use multiple. And it will just cost a little bit more, but I think it'll be well worth it because we'll want to build along the edge of the river and out into the ocean a lot more later on, so we won't want it to be filled with pollution. Of course, these still create some pollution, however, it's just far, far less than what the vanilla or what the original sewage drain produces. Okay, let's just make sure our capacity is good. Oh, it looks like we also could use some more water capacity. So let's go ahead and how about we actually place, how about we actually place these along the other side of the river? So maybe we place one here and place this here. And then I'll need to drag some water pipes to these. I'm imagining this side of the river being a little bit more built up than the other side. So I'm imagining, well, I'll take it out right here. Um, down here I'm thinking of more high density area. So you'll have skyscrapers and buildings. I mean more maybe this area or, or of course this area might be the main city too. Or maybe they'll both be high high density. So for this area, I think it'd make a lot more sense to have something like the key. So I think I'll just place it lined up with the, the actually the road, the highway here. And then I will go out a couple of units. And then I'll use this key, which is one of the newer ones. And of course, there's lots of other options for keys, but this one has trees, and I think I really like that. So I think it'd be a very nice one to walk along. We can build this right here. And then it might be worth actually moving these for a second. And then rebuilding a section of key right. Right here. And then we can replace these and they'll be lined up nicely on the key like that. We'll have to connect them back up. This way they look, look a lot nicer along the river. I think we'll also adjust this a little bit. Be a little bit farther away. And we'll make sure, I'm sure these, these still both connect for power. Then we can build a little bit more key. We'll go back to the tree line one. I have to use a little, maybe a little bit of anchor key for this. One. 
and eventually we'll want to end off the key. Something like that. Alright, how's this looking? I think that's looking pretty good. We can get started on some of the roads. Also, I noticed these power lines were kind of stuck in the ground. We can kind of fix that. I think that just looks a little bit nicer. Now we can build some road. I think we'll just go with... I think we'll just go with the normal road for now. And we might change it to be something else later on. So this is an interesting thing. Do I want the road to be right up to the key like this? Which means that pedestrians, um, I could make like short little paths for them to walk over here. And then cars would be able, as they drive along here, to be able to see out and onto the river. Or instead, I could set back the road for tiles. So this would be four tiles, meaning that when I zone residential or commercial or anything like that, it means that the back of their property would be to the river and to this to this walkway. Hmm, it's a good question. I'm thinking I'm going to do a mixture of both because I think it would be nice for like some apartment buildings to be kind of right on the river. But I also think it would be good to be able to walk. Just to be able to have the road a little bit closer. Maybe we can also, with Move It, make it a little bit closer. Something like this. Oh, uh, but that also kind of pulls out the terrain here, so maybe we won't do that. Also, I think it would be worth making sure that the most of the key is relatively level. Maybe, maybe we don't want it all level though. Like what if I just went from there, there, there. And then we did like this one. There we go. Yeah, and as this building grows, you'll be able to kind of see what I mean of putting the back of the property to the river. And I'm, eventually this will be more high density, not so much low density. I think along this curve here, I will make it so that there's zoning along the river. For this, I'll go along here. And I'll just remove these power lines. I think I'll remove snapping. Oops. Maybe I'll want a little bit of snapping. Just like that. Something like that. We are kind of getting a little bit of a big elevation change here. So the buildings might not show up super nicely like that. So I I think it'll be good to level some of this out. And then I think we'll Let 
move these up a little bit there. And I think we'll terraform. We'll take down the brush strength a little bit. Oh, still too strong. Okay, take this ring with it. And these houses are complaining about not having any power, but we'll fix that in a little bit. I think it'd be good to match the rest of this road and key to the same height. Let's just pick this one. This will just like lower most of the road. Maybe not that big. I'm going to use this more strict brush to make sure I don't raise ink up the land on the outside of the key versus inside. There we are. Let's kind of take a look at how this is looking. I think this will be a very nice spot. We haven't unlocked high density yet, so this area will just have to remain zoned as low density. And I'll just make it mostly residential for now, or almost entirely residential for now. And let's do a little bit more. Oops. Terraforming. This I can turn on the softer to brush for. Smoothed out. And this area will need water as well. And we'll turn the stacking on. Then we can start building some more roads. I think we'll try to redraw that so that the zoning is... Hmm. Interesting that the zoning isn't lining up. Maybe I just need to add on a little section. Maybe to this side. There we go. And for now, we'll just connect to this dirt road. Maybe make it so that it's a pit. 
paved road. Let's turn off. Hmm. I don't know why it's doing that to my grid, but... Hmm. Oh well. Some of this will become commercial, so... But I'll just kind of wait and see. Looking good. Now I want to add in those paths to connect the keys. I want to turn off snapping. Maybe I'll make these the park paths. Maybe not. I did kind of want to keep that tree. That looks good. There we go. I'll try to smooth off the end of this here with my terraform tools. Like that. Oh, I disconnected the power. I'm sorry, city. This area should get power again. There we go. Last time, we unlocked fairies. And now that we have two towns on either side of the river, I think it'd be great to connect them with one. To create a fairy, we'll need to build a fairy depot and at least two fairy stops. I think a good place for the fairy stop would be right here, where the road already goes right next to the key. I'll just delete a section of road, select the very stop, and build it. Looking good. I'll connect back up the road here. Oh, and it looks like we don't have any water over here, so let's just do that real quick. Plop, plop, plop. There we go. And now... Let's build another ferry stop over somewhere along here. Hmm. Considering the town covers so much of the coast, we might even want another, maybe want two ferry stops, maybe one down here and one up here. For now though, because there's not much up here, I will just kind of focus on this area. I think because we have the train, it'd be also pretty nice to have the ferry line, the ferry stop near the tram line so that people could transfer from one public transportation to the other. So maybe we place it here, somewhere along here. Yeah, I'm thinking that would be very good. So how does that look? So I don't really like like the cliff this forms here. So 
I'm gonna try shifting it out a little bit more. And let's unpause the game so we can let all the water settle all over the place. So I think, yeah, I'll, I'll pull it a little bit over here more. I'm planning to connect it up to this road here. Maybe over here. And rotate it a little bit. Maybe rotate it a bit more. It's looking good. Now we want to use road. Then swing it on up here. I don't really like what that did. So maybe we do something like that. That also kind of adjusted this curve, but I think that's okay. And then we'll use the straight slope tool. That looks okay. I might just try shifting around this node a little bit. Maybe even lower this one. This one. There we are. And funny enough, this doesn't have any water. Now we'll give it some. Hopefully it has power. Uh, yep. Yep. There we are. So now, next we'll need to draw in the ferry route. So we'll do that with the ferry pathway. I don't, I think the, oh, we can't run into the stop. So we'll have to curve it out a little bit. I don't think, oh, I guess we can go through the, the ship path. It's nice to know. I think we'll try to avoid it though. So I think it'd be best to have the ferry go along here, then along here, maybe not so close to the ship path. Then do a little curve there and there. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now we need a ferry depot. Now this ferry depot is pretty big, so I think I'll just place it down right here. Oh, and it also needs to be connected to our ferry path. But so yeah, this ferry depot is pretty, pretty big and pretty industrial. So this is something I would really like to put down near our shipping and cargo um, area where we'll have like much bigger um, harbor transportation buildings. But for now we'll just have to place it somewhere. So I think we'll, I think we'll place it, I think just here for now we'll just have to do, we'll connect it up with roads. and then give it power and water. But this will definitely be moved in the future because it doesn't make a lot of sense for it to be here, I don't think. There we go. Now we'll have to connect up the path. Maybe something like that. And then we need to draw in a ferry path. And we'll do that with the ferry lane. We'll start here, go here, and then back. And look at all those happy people. And there we go. Here's our first ferry. Cool. Now it'll come and stop over by the dock. 
people would hop on. Oh, and then it's gonna go through the dock a little bit. Oh, and there's a little ferry boat. Because, of course, in the the new hubs and, hubs and transport update, they added a couple new types of boats. Hooray! Our town has now leveled up! We are now a busy town with 4,800 people. And we unlock all these new things. A lot of new roads it looks like. And some new policies like we saw there. So, oh, some new buildings. Very nice. Very nice. Unfortunately, we haven't unlocked trains yet. Those will be unlocked once we become a small city. Alright, just letting our ferry line run for a little bit. We've already seen that quite a few people are using it. There are two ferries running right now. This bigger one and the little bit smaller one. That kind of looks like a speedboat. It might be worth lowering the key and the pier just so that it doesn't look as weird when people are boarding the boat. Let's see if we can do that here. Of course, it might just cause more troubles than it'll be worth, but let's see. We'd want these two sections to be level as well. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe we don't need to go as low. And then we should really make these the same height. Yeah, we don't want that happening. Let's move over the path a little bit. And we'll move that little piece down too. There we go. Now the people can board a little bit easier, and wow, we filled up the filled up the boat. I wonder how many people are waiting. Looks like they're going to work, going to pharmacy. Then they're an elementary school elementary school student going to the elementary school. Maybe we can follow them. <laughs> Scarlet Wright. That's a, that's a neat name, Skylar. And it also looks like they're happy. I'm just going to speed up time a little bit. And we can walk Scarlet. Go over to the elementary school. After hopping on the ferry, she hops off and then... Goes out here. And it looks like she's just gonna walk the rest of the way. Crosses the crosswalk. And there's the elementary school. <laughs> Even went outside to play. Fantastic! I'm really liking our little city. Seeing as we've accumulated a lot of industrial demand, I think it's about time to start adding on more farm. 
We'll place some here and some around here. It also looks like we're having a little bit of problem with crime. So I'll build this area a police station. How about we just put it right next to the fire station? There we are. And I wonder how medical it is. How's our health care? Oh, we don't have any clinics. Well, it's about time we probably get some. Maybe we can put one right here. And then let's put one over here. Right here. <laughs> and look at all the buildings level up after that. I'm sorry about that city. I didn't realize I didn't put any medical clinics in. In order to make it easier for people to get from the ferry to the, our tram, Let's make a new path. Basically, I want it to connect from right here, right up to there. So, I think all we need to do is build one from here. And then we could just connect to this dirt path. Maybe that's what we will do. Maybe that's exactly what we want. There we go. Maybe we'll flatten out the terrain a little bit. And we'll smooth it out. A Now people can walk right up here and hopefully already see people using it. I think that's where I'm going to end off today's video. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you next time. Goodbye!